Remember, kid, there's heroes and there's legends. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Before we start, it's time for a mic test. Now this engine is called the 2UZFE and it's safe to say it has made a name for itself in the auto community. Now this specific engine was introduced on the Toyota Land Cruiser, but you can also find it on the early 2000s models of the Sequoia, Tundra, and a few years of the 4Runner, as well as the Lexus GX470 and LX470. I'm sure you've heard it all too often. When you tell somebody that you have an older Toyota with like 180, 200,000 miles on it, they say, Oh, it's got a ton of life left. Oh, it's just getting broken in and stuff like that. So the reputation does precede it. Now, the title of this video talks about the legendary status of this engine. So let's take a look at just how good it can be. With good maintenance, these vehicles can last between 200 and 300,000 miles pretty regularly, with extreme cases going up to even four or 500,000 miles. Now, something worth noting, the cars with these engines do hold their value pretty well especially on the used car market. A lot of people just like these older Toyotas. While I could sit here all day and talk to you about why this engine is so great, let's get into the details and specifics of this model. For starters, this engine block is completely cast iron as opposed to the more popular aluminum blocks today. But what does that mean? What does cast iron do for the engine? Now it does have increased weight, but the cast iron creates more reliability, corrosion resistance, and is better in high torque applications. In the early 2000s when this engine came out, it was a little bit more widely accepted to have a cast iron engine, but now today you'll pretty much just see aluminum. Now look, I'm not trying to fool you. The cast iron does add weight to the engine, and this extra weight does compromise on the gas mileage. This one specifically looks at about 12 to 16 miles per gallon, depending on the vehicle. Now the 2UZ FE has all aluminum cylinder heads with four valves per cylinder. That equals 32 in total. It also has dual overhead camshafts and is completely naturally aspirated. Now this basically gives it a super simple design which it makes it easy to work on and easy to maintain. Now while this engine debuted around the turn of the century, they did slightly change it in late 2004, adding variable valve timing and electronic throttle control. These new features did not take full effect on vehicles until 2005 and they also added about 35 horsepower boosting it from 235 to 270. This engine also features two knock sensors, which provide management and adjustment of ignition timing in order to prevent knocking. So now let's talk more about the engine components. Now the biggest thing with these engines is the timing belt. Now this is classified as an interference engine, which means that if the timing belt breaks, the engine breaks. So that is kind of a little bit of a downfall, but I mean, not really if you just do regular maintenance on it. Now it's suggested that you change the timing belt, and by change, I mean replace, the timing belt and the water pump, at the same time, do that every 60 to 90,000 miles. This is coming from Toyota's website. Now this 60 to 90,000 mile time frame doesn't really mean that your timing belt is necessarily gonna break. I had a friend that rode his original timing belt all the way up to 200,000 miles before getting it replaced. Not saying I would recommend doing that by any means, but it can be done. One complaint of this engine is that you do have to take off the entire manifold to get to the starter, which is really inconvenient, but I mean, there are worse things to be worried about. Now what I did find online as far as complaints go is that some people did not like that the earlier model of this engine basically before the VVT getting to the spark plugs was a little bit difficult just because there was a lot of secondary air injection components in the way. It's not this way with my engine but it is this way with the earlier models. So now enjoy these clips of me playing basketball while I put some engine statistics up on the screen. So there you have it. Now maybe you know a little bit more about why the 2UZFE is one of the best engines on the road. As a reminder, if you want to get a TRD Pro Grill, check out the link in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.